Hi, I'm Cody from Sick Puppy Action. This time on Sick Puppy 4x4, we go on a 4,000 kilometre journey to an old bush hut that hasn't been visited in 40 years. Let's see what we've got in store. Setting off on the track, we're about 14 hours south of Townsville. We're going to be delving into some tough country up here in far north Queensland. First obstacle here on the track, first up is our mate Keith. He's part of the local guide crew in his awesome V8 Rover. Easy work for this thing, I tell you what. Next up is Papa Slug and his 75 series cruiser. Now this thing isn't a super custom rig, but it doesn't need to be. It's a Toyota. <laughs> My turn in the Jeep, and oh, the old girl just loves this kind of stuff. Now, the camera never does these tracks justice, but believe me, they're tough. How do we make it through these hard tracks, you ask? Well, you've got to have correct tyre pressure, and to have correct tyre pressure, you need a device that's perfect for letting your tyres down. So, all you need to do, undo your valve cap. And then use the painted design just to. It's. This is this is a prototype, so bear with me. Here we go. Sit here for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right. Now I know what you're thinking. Where can you get one of these? Now we sell these over the Sick Puppy 4x4 Action Super Center. <laughs> we'll put a link below. It's a must-have. All right. So she's been about 15 minutes. This tire will be nice and soft to tackle the tracks ahead. Thanks for coming. Back on the road, let's go. Back on the track now that we've handled our tyre pressures, and we quickly make it to a steep little gully that the locals reckon is harder than it looks. So our uh, lockers on, and up the mighty Jeep goes. Now, it's time for the guys in the RMG rig to give this one a crack. And uh, they're in an old live axle Hilux, so not much is going to bother them on this one. Matty's turn now in his fancy new Prado. Ooh, but uh, it's an IFS vehicle, like many of the newer four-wheel drives out on the market today, which means uh, traction problems right from the start. What's happening, Matt? I think I've got some traction issues, mate. Alright, I think we need to let you around tyres down. Matty, he's made the common mistake of not letting the spare tyre down. This will pull you up in every possible situation. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let his spare tyre down a bit and he'll crawl straight up this. Sticky tyre to float 3000 to the rescue. We'll sit here for about 15-20 minutes to get it to the correct pressures. Alrighty Matt, just give that a go, I reckon you'll crawl straight up this. Oh god, lucky we've got some good mates at good companies like Adventure Queens supplying us with the right gear for the right job. But anyway, we've got a lot of ground to cover today and it's just a pleasure to do so while listening to the mighty V8 in Keith's Reef. Now this country's just beautiful up here in far north Queensland. This is what I really love about four-wheel driving, you know? Just makes you proud to be Australian, doesn't it? But anyway, as we pushed along the track, we spot a bit of trouble up ahead. Uh, we have a bit of an issue up here, guys. There's a tree over the track. Might have to get out and have a look, eh? Right, this is the thing when you're this far out in the scrub, you get trees on the track. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out of the way because it's too big to drive over, and then we'll keep going. I'll get the chainsaw. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Can you just lift this up and hold it for me? There, right there. There you go, cut it. Hey! Quick. I already cut that side, so it should be easy to move now. Give me a hand. Sorry, right there. Yeah, just watch your back, guys. It's off the track. This one too is, fellas. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Here's your legs. Oh. Luckily, we got the right gear. Time to keep going down the track. 
Oh, you know, that's the thing. This far out in the bush, you never know what the track's gonna throw at you. And you know, this harsh North Queensland country has probably claimed its fair share of unprepared travellers in its day too. And uh, as much as we think we know what we're doing, it's always good to be cautious, isn't it? Hey, does everyone want to pull up? I think the patrol's got the bit stuck. Um, we'll probably winch, eh? Because uh, it's rough as guts. Yeah. Rather than a snatch. So I'll pull yeah, the winch out. Yeah. Ah, sweet. Thank you. So, once again, the patrol's stuck. And what we have is the right gear for the right job. So we're going to give him a quick winch and he'll be home free. He's pulling out the winch. He's going to attach it on. But remember, always use a recovery blanket. We don't want the winch cable snapping and hurting someone. Party. Now that the bloody Nissan's out of the bog, God, I tell you what, leave it up to a patrol owner. No, but in all seriousness, it's always good to have some good mates on the track with you to lend a hand if you get in any sticky situations. Speaking of which, this next hill climb's a doozy. Now that's the thing, big tyres and lift kits turn this sort of track into easy work. But it all comes down to the line you pick going up. And uh, you know, it's always a good idea to jump out and you know, really visualise it if you need to. When you're in the bush, you come across obstacles like this. It's uneven, there's big potholes from other cars trying to get up. That's why you need the big tyres, lift, lockers, and all the gear to make sure you can get up that hill safely without damaging any panels. You can't do this when you're in a stock vehicle at all. So there's only one way up, there's no way around this. So I think we just better hit it, boys. Just hit it. Hit it. Oh, hang on. What is this? All right. So anyway, stock cars can't do this. Stuff is Papa Slug in the mighty 75 series Toyota. This thing just lives and breathes this sort of stuff. Now with everyone up and over that last bit of fun, the rest of the track from here on out was pretty straightforward. Nothing really notable obstacle wise, but the scenery along the way as the sun sets was just gorgeous. I tell you what, and that's the thing you know, the whole goal of the trip is to get where you're going. But sometimes once you're there, you just don't want to stop. You want to keep driving and see more of this beautiful, beautiful country. Alrighty, so we've been driving for 12 hours now. We finally arrived at the bush camp that has not been touched in years. Now this place is... Fuck. So in all seriousness, the boys here at Roving Around 4x4 Club have let us use their property to film this episode. Now it was only a parody, so no one gets upset in the comments. But this is the man, you can join the club. We're a family orientated oh, club. We want all the young people to come and learn how to drive their vehicles safely and bring the family out, camping out here, all that is provided. Yep. Kid friendly. Yep, it's about kid ten, friendly. Ten kids playing out in the front of the dogs, year old bush dogs house. Dogs are free, they can run. Kids are going to be tied up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you for you. inviting me out. Thanks really for coming and joining us. I enjoyed myself. It's been great. Thank you. Good. Thank you. You want these two bricks? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh.